This study is a T-cell therapy, it's an immune therapy where the patient's own immune cells, which have become um, tolerant and the cancer's escaped you know, under its watch, they take their immune cells out of their body, genetically alter them by, it's a gene transfer, you know, study to put a new gene in, it's a construct that will then force those immune cells to have a new receptor. Now, the beauty of this is the immune cells live in your body for life. You're vaccinated as a child for polio, measles. You have immunity for most patients for a lifetime. The cells can functionally live. These same cells are now being put back into you with its own receptor that may see something that's, that's you know, irrelevant to the disease, but now has a new receptor that's focused at the cancer. When you put them in, like all, which normally will happen with anyone who's immunized, you start to get an immune response. Here the cells come in and they immediately create an immune response to the residual cancer in the individual. The cells will grow, expand over time, and you can actually measure via the bloodstream the expansion of these cells. And it's dramatic, dramatic numbers of cells that will, will grow because they're seeing their target and they want and they're trained or basically designed by evolution. I have to kill this cell that has this foreign receptor.